This is the story of a million pound mistake made by a solicitor practicing in Godalming, just south of Guildford. And the case is an action by a bank, Twinsetra, to recover that money. The story starts with one Mr Yardley, who was an entrepreneur and needed money to invest in real estate. Twinsetra, the bank, agreed to lend that money, but only on the basis of a personal undertaking by a solicitor that the money would be used only for the stated purpose, the purchase of real estate. Sims, a solicitor, agrees to make that undertaking, and a deal is reached. But here is where things start to go wrong. There is another solicitor involved, Leach. Leach, in fact, negotiated the deal with Twinsectra, and was the solicitor with whom Yardley expected to deal. When the money was in fact paid over by Twinsectra to Sims, he paid it, in turn, to Leach, but without ensuring that the undertaking was complied with. Leach paid it in turn directly over to Yardley, who used it for purposes other than the acquisition of real estate. By the time the case reached the House of Lords, there were two questions at play. First, was the money paid by Twinsectra held on trust for it? And if so, was Leach an accessory to the breach of trust that Sims had committed by paying it out otherwise than in accordance with the undertaking? A majority of the court said yes to the first question. For Lord Millet, that trust is a resulting trust arising because of an absence of intention to benefit the recipient. But the court said no to the second question. Lord Hoffman said that Leach hadn't been dishonest because he genuinely believed that the undertaking didn't apply to him.